breaking news, the repeal bill, it passes the House voting to repeal President Obama's health care law by a vote of 245 to 189. So now what? Republican Congressman David Dreyer joins us live. Good evening, sir. Always nice to be with you. Well, Kate. not always nice. You said that I, I gave you a hard time last time. That doesn't time. mean it's not nice to be with you, even when you beat me up. But it's still <laughs> nice to be with you. Let me just first say, thank God our colleague Gabrielle Giffords is on the road to recovery. Uh, I represent her alma mater, Scripps College, and I was told by the president of my alma mater, which is right next door at Claremont McKenna College, that they were having a candlelight vigil on the campus for her. I think it's tonight, or or maybe I think it was I think it was scheduled for tonight. So. To to hear that she's walking is just such great news for all of us. And she's a very, very thoughtful person, and uh, and I hope that that uh, guy gets the book thrown at him. Uh, well, she's tough, and uh, she's been on this show a number of times, and uh, I look forward to seeing her walking through that. Door. Absolutely, we all do. We all do. All right, now the repeal uh, bill. You, so today you won. You know, 219 people voted in favor of the health care bill, 245 people, three Democrats joined with the 243 Republicans to, to vote to repeal it. And the interesting thing is that throughout the debate there were lots of things uh, said, and you just had a clip that I had not heard until I, I came in here, but I will tell you that um, there has been a characterization that somehow we don't want to deal uh, with the issue of health reform. Tomorrow morning, first thing on the House floor, we're going to consider H. Res. Nine, which calls for replacement. We're going to be directing the committees of jurisdiction to begin with the process to do a number of things that we believe could drive the cost of health insurance down immediately. First, we should acknowledge that virtually everyone has said that this bill is flawed, beginning with the President of the United States, who in his press conference right after the election said that the 1099 provisions imposing great mandates on small business needed to be corrected. We've had if Judge Henry had, Hudson. If had read it and thought about it beforehand, we wouldn't be fixing that. I mean, I, I mean, I guess that's where I, I've been critical of the bill, that nobody read it. And so now the, even the idea that we're fixing things, maybe if somebody had actually read it and studied it, we wouldn't be doing so many fixes well, or right attempted that, fixes. But, but it's so right that people always say, yeah, well, legislation does need to be fixed. But this measure is going to be implemented in 2014. The taxes begin earlier, but implemented in 2014. And almost immediately upon passage, I mean, we remember the very famous line from Speaker, then Speaker Pelosi, who said we have to pass the bill so that we can find out what's in it. And the things that we found out, there, there are a lot of bad things in it. And that's the reason we said to the American people, and they got it, beginning last year we would have an up or down vote on repeal. So what are, so what are you going to accomplish? I mean, I understand today, and a lot of it was largely, I think, to uh, meet campaign uh, promises to well, We told to the consider. American people we're going to do okay, it, and right. we've done it. So, but what is actually going to happen for the American people? Well, what we want to do is, um, again, and we're going to include a Democratic amendment, uh, which will be part of HRS 9, and when we direct the committees of jurisdiction to pursue there are a number of things that are part of the plan that we've had in the past that I've discussed with you uh, for the last year plus, and that is we need to allow for the purchase across state lines of insurance products. We need to make sure that we have associated health plans so that small businesses can come together. We need to have pooling to deal with pre-existing conditions. I, we need I, to expand medical I, savings I, accounts. And finally, we need to have meaningful, what you and I discussed in the green room, lawsuit abuse reform, because you've talked about the but potential the, legal but, problems but, on the horizon. But here's the problem is that all those things things you want, you've got to persuade the United States Senate and the president, and a lot of those things are in the current bill. Yeah. I mean, this, so I mean, as a practical matter, what's going to happen America, for the American well, people? Well, guess what? The president of the United States said through this debate that he supported the notion of allowing for the purchase of insurance across state lines. In his State of the Union message one year ago, this next week, he stated that he wanted real, meaningful lawsuit abuse reform. He supported the notion of associated health plans. These are things that have not been included to the extent that they should. And and so, and the president just yesterday put out a statement and said he was willing and eager to work with us to do this. The former Democratic whip, Jim Clyburn, on this network said that he wanted to see us work together in a bipartisan they, they, way. We only 30 seconds left, but they want to fix something. You want to replace it. Well, That's a big divide. Well, but you know what? Let me tell you something. We have repealed it, and we believe that if you look at the problems that exist out there right now, the mandates imposed, which bring up Judge 
Hudson's decision, the, unconstitu the constitutionality question, and as you've discussed, you see down the road tremendous legal hurdles for the implementation of this bill. So that's why we're saying we can start over, and that's what we're doing. But our focus has to be on job creation and economic growth. And Greta, we believe very strongly that the notion of eliminating a $2.7 trillion expenditure, getting the government out of it, will in fact create jobs and get our economy back on track. Congressman, thank you. Hope you come back. Always good to be come with you. Soon. You thank bet. You. Look nice forward to having you, you back up at the Hill. I'll come back to see you, sir. Thanks.